I am Karina and this is Flask of number 21. Today is Thursday, November 4th and we are in the final line for Christmas, you know, just there. Um, and it's so funny because it's different here than in, for example, in US. US has the Thanksgiving celebration and all the harvest time and everything from fall, then probably a lot of you, you know, have your decor as fall or Thanksgiving. But here, everybody's putting up um, Christmas already. I went today to do some small shopping to the supermarket and the commercial center was um, is starting to put the Christmas tree and the lights and everything is like, oh my God, all Christmas is out. I think people is so sick to be, you know, like, um, not with too much freedom to move around because of the COVID and uh, this year people feels better about it and Christmas is on the air here okay then I'm pretty sure decorations in the houses will start probably next week uh, to show up because you know in the commerce itself in, in, in a business talking is already on um, I am making the video downstairs, uh, taking advantage of the natural light and it's midday, uh, then hopefully the light will be enough. I don't wanna put a like a, a artificial light when I have all this uh, on top of me. Um, well, I'm sorry, I'm late. I should have this, um, I should make this video the past week, but I didn't. I'm sorry, it was too, 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 too complicated. A lot of work, thanks God, it's not a, it's, it's not a, it's not a claim about it, you know, it's fine to have job to do, but um, I've been a little bit busy. And no matter, I keep like stitching and everything. Well, you know, stitching is one thing and make the video is another thing. But well, what I have today is, I have two whips, only two because, and those are two whips that I, made a good uh, improvement and they are actually like Christmassy. No more Christmassy, they are Christmas. But um, I will have more advances to show next week. Today I will concentrate in two whips. I have two finishes, which I have to, or I want to talk with you. And I have some hold, two kinds of hold. I will I will get into that in a, um, in a moment, okay? Um, let's start with the progress. Okay, over there, Christmas in quilt. Well, every time I take and I start like stitching Christmas in quilt, I I get more in love with this. Um, and I jump a little bit. The last time I show Christmas in quilt to you, I started my page number five on the bottom, and I supposed to continue, but. You know how we are. I decide to jump on page number page number six for me and do the big piece of the center, which is the church. Then I did that. Okay, then this is Christmas in quilt. Okay. And what I did is I decided, you remember then let me do like this. The past time, the past time I did this on the bottom. Okay, the light is okay. Over there I don't know if I will have to put the light let me see if with the light of this it's better for you hold on for a second okay maybe it helps a little bit I don't know if it's too much or not but maybe it helps a little bit okay okay then I did this but then I decided to jump and do the big church which is a big chunk of stitches okay then it's almost done, except all the door. All the door is pending and the white over here. The white that is like here and the door. But the rest of the church is done. Then I am uh, well ahead on pay in, on that centerpiece. And it's, it's becoming beautiful. You know, I really love it. But this church has a lot a lot of stitches okay the other thing i had some kind of improvement let's say is my father christmas with a purple rope 
This is so cute. Uh, let me put something in the back. Okay, this is where I am. And which I did is all this part on top, this part over here, and all these yellows here. This yellow is um, actually the lights around the um, Christmas, the lights on the Christmas tree that are on. Okay, yeah, they have like a, a combination of yellows and um, this is where I am right now. This will be cute. And it's surprisingly not too slow to go, you know, like I'm getting a good pace for the time I dedicated on it. Then those are my two whips. Now, um, let's do finishes. This is so funny. I think I have this, I have two finishes and I'm pretty sure I will be able to finish around four or five more things but before end of the year. Then I'm so, so happy. Okay. I did finish Poppy Pear. This is my finish. I think it's beautiful. Let me put something in the back. The light is on. Uh, Poppy Pear. I think it's so, so beautiful. I had it almost finished for a while, but I was missing the entire backstitch and it's a lot of backstitch all around the flowers, the leaves, the, all around and all these letters on the background of the um, picture that, that are backstitch basically. Okay, but they are beautiful. Let's see over there, you can see the light. And also, those French nuts, I have to say, I don't like French nuts. I did some of them that have to go here, plus some other here. But they are not my, French nuts, it are, they are not my best job. I definitely agree. But look at how cute it is. I have to decide how to finish this. But it's a very nice piece. Very, very nice piece. The other thing I finished is actually, oh, I have to say, because people was asking me the other day by Instagram, for Poppy Pear, Poppy Pear, I started Poppy Pear back in April 27th, and I finished in October the 30th. And actually I invest 47.5 hours of my time in Poppy Pear. It's amazing, but it's 47 hours. Um, other thing I finished that actually is a start and a finish in the same month. Um, I won a giveaway with Priscilla and Chelsea, the original housewives of stitching, stitching housewives, I always make a mess. And I won Gobble Gobble. I'm putting the pattern there. Okay, that's Gobble Gobble. And I have to say, I love the pattern. I think... It stitches really, stitches really quick, yes. And you can have a nice piece fast. But I have to make a whole change because if you see the original design, it's with black fabric and I didn't have black fabric in my hands right now. And uh, it has a classic colors works, um, choose of colors. And um, I didn't have them. And I want to stitch it and I wanted to stitch it and I didn't want to wait the time that will take me to buy those colors and bring them here. Then I decided to do a whole change. I took a piece of fabric I uh, show back on, and Christmas is cry, crying as always, um, piece of fabric that I bought from uh, Linus by Anna. At Etsy she's from Russia and I bought a piece of this green uh, Ada and it's actually Ada 14 but the, the holes are a little close or not close like yeah close but when I say close I'm not talking about close one like one on the side of another one it's the hole itself is it's, it's a 14 small I don't know how to explain it but I had 
many 14 areas, and this one is it's, it's tight. Tight is the word, it's a little tight. And besides to change the fabric color, I changed the palette of colors of my piece. Let me show you. This is my Gobble Gobble. It's a green, very for me, like a forest green. You know, it's a green Ada 14. And that's my palette of colors. My sister-in-law says, oh, I like it, but they are not too uh, fall colors. They are more like spring colors. And I said, okay, then my um, turkey is a happy sp spring turkey. I don't care. But actually, I really like it. Uh, I love the original colors, but I didn't have them. Then this is all done in um, a mix of DMC and also um, Chinese floss. That is a copy of DMC. Some of the colors are DMC, some of the colors are the other. Uh, but I really like it. Look at how cute it is. It's beautiful. I, I like it. And it was so, so quick to stitch. And um, I'm waiting, I bought some stuff on the internet. I'm waiting for some uh, fall foliage um, in different colors and uh, some decorations, which I think maybe I'll be getting by November and I plan to finish the piece and make my FFO using that uh, decoration I bought. And don't worry, here in Costa Rica, we don't have four seasons. Then for me, it's not a problem to finish my fall piece in Christmas or right before Christmas, uh, because we really stitch here whatever we want in any moment we want, because we don't have the seasonal thing. We have here, we have dry season and rainy season. That's it, which dry season for us is equivalent to our summer and rainy season is equivalent to our winter but the funny thing is that it our summer quotings okay in quotes our summer is really the winter of the hemisphere that's why it's 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 so complicated for for us to move in the same wave of seasonal thing because it doesn't match okay but um then this is gobble gobble and i hope to ffo this um uh, by the end of the month, hopefully, but I check my package and it's already in the US, then um, hopefully I will have it by the, you know, FFO by the end of November. And I want your opinions, people. I want your opinion. I want to know if you like this combination of colors. Be free to say, no, Karina, we don't like your choice. We went to stitch. We will only like uh, to stick with four very full colors or yes, I like your crazy turkey. <laughs> okay, those are my finishes. And I have to say that I start Gobble Gobble on October 19th and I finish on October 23rd. It was so quick. I invest 13 hours on Gobble Gobble. And invest 13 hours because also you know it took me a while to decide what to, which fabric and which uh, um, colors and then pick them up and blah 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 it was okay okay now hole now I have a stitching hole yes our regular hole that we like all of us and I have a very particular hole that I wanted to share really quick this is not related to a stitch to stitching and I only want to show you this because I want to know if there is people interest in this kind of stuff because I have another Instagram account for some uh, food uh, business I sometimes manage and um, then I'm thinking if people is interested in this then I will start posting this stuff in my other Instagram account and I can share with you guys this and what I'm talking about let me explain you really quick. Uh, I like to cook and I like to do new things. I have a feeling in myself from some time ago, maybe a year ago, that I wanted to learn how to preserve food for a long time, not to a week, no, no, how to preserve food, how to dehydrate, how to can, how to preserve food for a long time. Uh, because 
well, grandparents always say to be prepared. Okay, I work in logistics. The supply chain is suffering a lot. The containers have a lot of delays all over the, the world. I work on that and I know how difficult it is. And you know, you never know. Also, we, Costa Rica, we are in the fire belt of the Pacific, then we have earthquakes and you know, any moment in, in our life, then it's nice to have something. And besides, there is some things that can be done to make food really uh, healthy when you dehydrate and you have some stuff on hand. Then I decide to invest and learn on that. Then, my butt, look at what I bought. I bought an Amazon, a vacuum seal, vacuum sealer uh, machine for food. I'm so excited to start testing this. And this was an excellent price. I bought it with a 50% discount. Then it was incredible good buy. Um, also, I bought four books of how to preserve food because if I want to learn, I want to learn okay and good. And yes, I will be checking YouTube videos and things related, but also I want to read and check and I like to compare. Okay, if this person says this thing uh, holds this amount of time, uh, how much time is this other person or this other person and then compare. Then I bought four books, but I'm still waiting for one more package that didn't arrive yet. Then I, I bought this complete dehydrator cookbook. And also this one that says beginner's guide to preserving. And it says safely can ferment, dehydrate, salt, smoke, and freeze food. And I bought two more books that I didn't arrive yet. Then we're talking about four books. And now one thing that I didn't see before like the the sealers i the vacuum seal machine i had been looking them for a long time here in costa rica there are some but very expensive but there is the dehydrated i always saw these big dehydrated machines and more expensive but look what i found this is the cutest thing look at this look this dehydrated it's a small it's like a like a slow cooker or rice cooker size. This fits in any any kitchen at all. It's very small and it has different, let me show you, different uh, trays. One, two, three, four, five trays. Then you can dehydrate a lot of food at the same time or different um, things at the same time. Then I'm so excited to start. This arrived this week and I wanted to start right away. I didn't have chance yet, but I have to start reading and start making and tasting and I'm actually I'm so excited because one of the books I don't know if this is one of these two or the other two I'm not waiting for um that says that you can make for example that you can take like zucchini uh slice and put like garlic and salt and pepper and then dehydrate them and then you will have uh zucchini and garlic chips completely healthy and they're not in the market. And I said, wow, that's a good idea. But there are tons of things that can be done. I'm so excited. I'm waiting, the, uh, the package that I'm waiting, it's a package that has two more books and a combo or uh, extra bags for a vacuum seal that I bought. It's a, it has, a, it, it was a discount. I think I bought it with a coupon in Amazon and has a, three different size, uh, sizes of bags, which are washable and reusable, which I think was incredible good. Then let me know if somebody's interested in this thing, let me know and then we can start, you know, sharing information by Instagram or other way, but not to, you know, mixing <laughs> with this teaching channel, okay? Then let me know. Now, stitching hole. Okay, what I have is some stuff my daughter and I got from Everything Cross Stitch. And um, actually, she uh, bought it, we sent it to, to her house, and she sent it to me. And um, 
My daughter is coming, thanks God, in, in December for vacation and Christmas time, family time. But um, these things are Christmassy and festive and she sent ahead of her a box with gifts, Christmas gifts. In, instead of pay an extra suitcase, which you know now is very expensive for international travelers, you know, the, the airlines are saying one suitcase and that's it. And if you want an extra suitcase, then you have to pay this and this. And it's very expensive. And because I work in logistics and I do uh, courier service, then she sent a box to my warehouse in Miami. And she put a bunch of stuff inside that there are Christmas gifts that she bought for, you know, for uh, end of the year. And then she include this also to me. And it's way less expensive than pay a suitcase that's a real fact okay then look at what we got first of all two uh patterns that are not christmas they are fall time harvest time and i love them and i will start them probably this month and if i finish them this month will be fine if i finish next month will be fine but i really i saw them and i love them this is Gather and Give Thanks from Imaginating and the Artist by Diane Arthurs. Look at how nice this is. Beautiful. Okay. And also from the same Imaginating uh, company, but this, kind of the, this time the artist by Ursula Michael, this is Count Your Blessings. These are beautiful. I saw them. Look at how nice. They will be so nice together. Or like that, you know. I don't know. But they are incredible, incredible, nice. And I have, and I have fabric. And I have enough colors to do this. Yes. Okay, these two. Also, um, Costa Rica is famous internationally because we have a lot of, in our forest, we have sloths. Sloth is the, these animals on the trees that are very slow, very, very slow. They are so peaceful and nice creatures and um, they are nice. And I found these two patterns, Christmas patterns with the sloths. Look at this. This is Mary Slothmas. It's not cute. Don't tell me it's not cute because if somebody tells me this is not cute, like, oh my God. This is cute, cute, cute. Mary Slothmas, you know? This is from um, Cross Stitch Wonders. This says that the design is by Marcia Manning. This is amazingly beautiful and the pair of these that i bought and there are more but those two they really cut my eye and this is a slow ho ho sloth look at this is the cutest a slow ho ho sloth come on this is beautiful i'm so happy and this i am gonna start them right away i just got it yesterday and oh my god I see them and I see them and I see them and I, uh, both are from Marcy Manning, Cross Stitch Wonders, but oh, they're so cute. And the good thing is, look at this, there's not too many colors. This is red, white, green, black, brown, pink for the cheeks. You know, like it's like probably like, I don't think there are more than 10 colors, not even 10 colors. Well, they are two, two browns. Let's see one two three four five six no around ten colors well let me check on the back well twelve colors twelve colors on one yeah twelve colors i missed for two but they're so so cute the other thing also christmas is from mill hill uh this is gingerbread lad from mill hill we all, it's a kit. These are kids. They have everything. The other ones were patterns, but those are kids. Then uh, this is ginger 
bread lab and gingerbread lass the couple the couple from Mill Hill they're so so cute and also from Mill Hill this is ornament elegant no elegance I'm sorry ornament elegance this is a little bigger sorry for the glare over there with all the things these three are definitely 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 hanging in my Christmas stuff for this year, then I have to start working on all of that because we're talking about five different things from, for Christmas plus the two uh, fall pieces. Then, and I wanted to start all of them. I want to start all these two, seven things right away. And I have, I want to finish all these seven things for this year. A lot of things to do, but I'm so happy. All of these are the cutest things then this is what i have no more things for today thank you to share with me if you are a recurring viewer thank you for coming again if you were new and you like your the content of this channel please give me your thumbs up hit the like and please subscribe it's free and help us to develop better content for you and get have more options of contents for you um be open and free to write your comments uh your ideas your suggestions whatever you want there is enough enough space below and um also follow if you want uh to follow me by instagram there is information in, down below and in instagram i post uh a little bit more of my stitching advances let's say if i am not showing a whip here but i am working over the week then i took my photos and you can see the advances there i post a little bit about my pets and um, my garden or whatever then you know let me know thank you have a beautiful day or evening in this case well i don't know depends on when are you going to see this god bless you bye bye